I just want to tell you a personal story about this very airfield here at uh, Farnborough and a little eight-year-old lad being brought along by his dad to see uh, Farnborough Air Show many years ago. And that little lad was utterly inspired by uh, the first flight we came along to see Concorde flying. Who did get to fly Concorde? Oh, you lucky people. The airplane that uh, inspired me, I didn't, uh, I didn't get to fly. But uh, I did get to make my living through uh, engineering. Let me introduce myself. My name's Tim Wheeler, and I work for the Boeing Company, and it's been uh, my privilege and pleasure to work with both Tracy and Tim uh, on the uh, uh, expedition that uh, sets off today. We, we have uh, a lost generation of aerospace engineers and we need to step up our training of people and inspire them to see engineering as their career. Uh, and here in the UK we have a tremendous connection to that because some of the best innovation and engineering skills are to be found here in the UK. And that's really the exciting part of this adventure into the people that will be inspired by the, the recreation of the historic flight uh, that Amy Johnson made and will come into aerospace and over the next hundred years uh, they'll be the people that create and uh, define for us what aerospace and aircraft can do and what they look like. <laughs> Artemis was captivated by Tracy's determination, focus, infectious enthusiasm, spirit, and of course, may I say, charm. She eloquently explained her plan to us and explained further that she was looking for a sponsor. Of course, the answer was yes. What else could one say? Uh, Your Royal Highness, Admirals, Commodores, ladies and gentlemen, uh, yes, I'm afraid my name is Dick Turpin. And before, before you ask, my mother does have a funny sense of humour. Uh, but I have the, the privilege to work for Artemis, and indeed the privilege to be here today watching this very special event. You've done that wonderful journey from Cape Town to England, and I have to say, as her journey unfolded, I think I personally and a lot of us went through every emotion possible. Most of all was pride in what you achieved, and when you touched down at Goodwood, I think we all breathed a wonderful sigh of relief. Now today, you're embarking on an even bigger journey to Australia, this time following in the steps of Amy Johnson. I think it's wonderful to know that here today are members of Amy's family. Thank you so much for coming here today. Absolutely marvellous that you could be here to see this. Um, we all know this is an enormous undertaking, and I think on behalf of everybody here, can I just say, Tracy, we salute you. You have the support of the first version of the entire nation by We salute your pioneer spirit and we wish you God's peace. culmination of 30 years flying vintage aeroplanes and to be here today on the start of this journey recreating or trying to recreate parts of Amy Johnson's flight in 1930. So there are many, many thanks but I should perhaps start with Amy Johnson, her closest relative, who's been wonderful over the last year we became friends and the fact that Judy Childers and Hugh, her husband, have come here to support me today is a great moment for me. This, of course, is my flight to Australia, off the back of the Africa flight, my sponsors. And when I say sponsors, it's a sort of generic term, but in fact, these are fantastic relationships. I now have these bonds and these friendships that have come around the world with me. So I really cannot thank enough Boeing, who came on board as my first sponsor, for them a completely off-the-wall project. I just, my first explanation was, look, this is going to sound completely bonkers. But I'm having one of your vintage aeroplanes restored and I'm going to fly it up Africa. 
And I must have struck a chord with them because they became my first sponsor. And off the back of that, of course, Artemis Investments, who have been unparalleled in their support behind this, because without a huge financial investment, this simply would not be happening. So a profound thank you to Boeing and Artemis. Behind that, GIC Re have come on board as my insurance partner, so they're seeing me around the world, which I think is jolly great considering my recent history with helicopters. <laughs> but you can see the result of that, which is the most beautiful propeller, which I think is almost worth doing just to get that on the air. <laughs> Another very proud moment this year is being made an honorary officer with the Royal Naval Reserves. And I am, in fact, Sir George Zambales, the first Sea Lord, has sent me a letter this morning, brought to me by Rear Admiral Ben Kay. And I'm going to take the letter with me to Australia and I'm going to make it back to you. But I'm enormously proud to be carrying with me the Royal Navy and Royal Marines Charity, which is the biggest naval charity, and they support nearly a million people around the world. So I'm delighted to be carrying that around the world with me. Gosh, there's so many people. Singapore Airlines has also come on board. We have a big program there. We have a delegation from Pakistan who we're going to have some wonderful things on the way because, of course, this is not just a flight. It's a whole communications program around the world. So there's outreach. We're focusing on women's historic and contemporary achievement in aviation, of which Amy herself is such an outstanding example. favorite people here so I just feel like this is the moment whatever happens hereafter this is the moment for me so thank you thank you all very much I now actually have to get out there and do it so <laughs> I just try to disengage now and focus on flying but it's my personally may I thank you for your fantastic help and support because it has been a very special part of this flight and I look forward to you flying with me on one of the legs in the future with Wilson I need a life jacket. <laughs> <laughs> There's kids all over the world. Take you up.